All right, Todd's back yeah. for the full forecast, and we got some slippery stuff going on for we the do. second morning in a row. D- so. Yeah, two in a row. We kind of feel for some of the road crews, you know, these last couple of days. They're probably not getting much sleep. We're trying to have to sleep during the day, you know, which is not easy. A couple of school delays out there. Augusta schools, two-hour delay, RSU 11 and RSU 16. And no morning kindergarten for those little cuties. All right, don't have many reports of snow yet. As folks wake up, they'll trickle in. Bridgeton, four inches. Auburn, three inches. New Gloucester, about two inches of snow. And in these areas, got a little uh, more than expected. And that's why there's a winter weather advisory until 9 a.m. I think the final flakes will be gone by then, but we've got a little cleanup to do. There's a band that sat over this area of the state for a few hours as the system arrived. And there is that band and it's pretty intense. And right now it lives around Parsons Field and Keyser Falls. And then it's up near Bridgeton and Sebago, Naples, Lewiston, Auburn, New Gloucester. And then it stretches into the mid coast area. Places like Richmond, Gardner, Brunswick, Topsom, over to Wiscasset, Damariscotta, Walderboro. You're seeing some pretty heavy snow. South of there, through Portland, the snow has been lighter. I don't expect much more in the way of accumulation, but this will swing through and probably drop another half inch. And there are some scattered flurries down in York County right now. We climb north and east. Augusta, steady snow, along with Waterville and Mercer, and on up into the Farmington area, Livermore has 21 degrees right now with some snow falling. Bangor light to moderate snow, but again, that's the back edge up there, so it's not going to last much longer. Belfast looks a little heavier. And Eastern Maine, you'll end up with one to three inches out here too. Not much snow north of Millinocket this morning, as this system is already starting to swing on out of here. Behind it, we're going to clear just like yesterday. We'll get into some sunshine, but it's not going to be quite as warm. So a lot of this won't be melting away and this high works in nice end of the week, but those temperatures are going to be struggling for a couple of days. So there goes that back edge final flakes in down east Maine around 9 a.m. At that point, it's already starting to clear across southern and western areas, but roads, walks and driveways will once again be sketchy this morning. Be careful out there. It's going to take you a little extra time. Midday, a mixture of sunshine and clouds. There'll be a much stronger breeze today, too, out of the northwest. And temperatures do get up to 32. So if your driveway's in the sun at the peak of the day, you'll probably get some melting there. But if it's in the shade, it won't. It's kind of one of those days and one of those deals. A lot more sunshine as the sun is setting. However, the temperatures are dropping and it'll feel a lot colder at the end of the day too. High of 30 in Bangor, 34 Portland, 32 Lewiston. Normal high is closer to 40 and the wind direction today will be out of the northwest and it'll be kind of gusty too, 25 miles per hour frequently. Now as we go into the second half of the week and weekend, temperatures are actually going to be on the rise. Tomorrow's cold in the 20s, but Saturday looks very nice in the 30s. And Sunday morning, when this warm front comes through, there'll be a little mixed pre- precipitation, could be slippery. And then I'm pretty, pretty confident we're going to get into this warm sector. And temps are going to really rise up. We'll hit probably 50 degrees in a few towns. Front comes through on Monday. It's still mild this day in the 40s. But the tail end of the front, a new low will form on it. And we'll see some rain break out in the afternoon on Monday. And it'll probably flip over and end as some snow as colder air arrives by Tuesday morning. So we'll have to watch the Tuesday morning time frame for our next wintry precipitation event. Small crafts are up, seas 3 to 5, northwest winds 20 to 30 knots. So we'll develop sunshine today, but the snow is going to be a problem early on here. High temperatures in the lower 30s. 20s tomorrow, mix of sun and clouds. Mostly sunny on Saturday. Great winter day. Get outside, do some skiing, things like that. Look at Sunday. Yeah, slippery morning, but the afternoon warm, 50. And then it starts to cool off as that storm moves in. Starting off as some rain, probably ending as some snow on Tuesday, Goldie. <sighs> Can we just remind? Well, you know what? Doesn't matter. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Doesn't right, matter. Just move, move yeah, along. We're just going to move along. We're not going to complain. <laughs> okay. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it.